So notice what have we done? We basically attached the DCC to this oxygen. Now, now the reaction is going to work much better. First of all, now this is not an acid anymore. Since it's not an acid, we don't need to worry about it protonating this nitrogen. Um, and uh, also, this oxygen is now a better leaving group. Why is this oxygen now a better leaving group? Because it will be able to hold the, like, the minus charge through resonance. With this pi bond yeah. down here. So we've gotten rid of two of the problems, which was we've gotten rid of the acid function here, and we've made this into a better leaving group. And once again, we're going to have an additional elimination reaction where we attack and unform the carbonyl, and then when we reform the carbonyl, we're going to kick off this oxygen group. And the other one has to be protected, the OH will have to be protected. Protected, sorry. I'm sorry? You mean this? The ala, yeah. yeah, of course, we're assuming that we've already protected the N terminus over here and the carboxy terminus over here. So after this additional elimination reaction, um, now we've accomplished what we wanted. We've got the glycine attached to the alanine. Now the glycine is attached to the alanine. And here's the leaving group that left. And as we were saying, this is an excellent leaving group because this negative charge is stabilized by resonance. There's another resonance structure where the negative charge would be on this nitrogen. And so do you always like, definitely need an activator? To, to form the peptide bonds? Yeah. yeah. We're definitely going to need an activator because, as we've discussed, um, the attack of an amine on a carboxylic acid nucleophilically doesn't give you good yields. We've talked about how there's lots of problems with that. And we need very special activators. We need things that will activate only the reaction we want without deprotecting any of the protective ends. So there's very special reagents that have been come up with that will only activate the exact things we want. Basically, it looks like all the activators here are carboxy activating agents. They're carboxy activating agents, and the way they activate the uh, carboxy group is by turning the OH group into a kind of OR group. They all turn the OH group into a kind of uh, uh, OR group that's going to be a better leading group and that doesn't, is not going to have competing acid base reactions. Now, the last step here would be to deprotect the nitrogen end and the carboxy end. Does this make sense? Again, the, the real theme here is almost all the reactions we've been doing have been addition elimination reactions on carboxylic acid derivatives. We just keep doing all these different uh, addition elimination reactions on carboxylic acid derivatives, where we attack the carbonyl and then reform the carbonyl. Okay, well, we won't have time to look at the other uh, activating agents, but I think they're pretty similar. Um, they're all different ways, again, of uh, making the carboxy group into a better electrophile so the nitrogen can attack it. That basically, they basically just have to be memorized. <laughs>